Mm. I don't know. Uh, because I remember one portion where we took on D8 and played Knight of Seven check. But uh, maybe third time, yeah, probably. So, okay. So, it is also one more important factor. Uh, <coughs> whichever game you see, you know, should try to remember it. Play some draw some patterns. I think that's, that's the important uh, quality of being a GM uh, is that uh, GM and beyond <laughs> is that uh, at least in my case, I, I remember many games which I see with my friends, with my students or with, which I see online. If not the full game, I'll remember at least 50% of the game, like what happened and all these things. So again, that will, that that quality comes when you when you're too focused when you're going through a game and of course when you're passionate about something of course you will give your best so whatever game you see whatever pattern you see try to remember <laughs> don't just you know uh, forget and move, move on so yes so we remember we we even discussed before yeah we have a night whenever you have a night uh, try to visualize the square that forks opponent's pieces. <laughs> so which square you think is forking black pieces? At the moment, just one square, yeah? Forking black pieces. Very good. Yeah. yeah. So F sound is the only square that forks king and the rook. So we win the rook and we just pull rook up. So knight F sound is the right answer as most of you call it. We take the rook and it just <laughs> went again. So yes, I think this portion has probably two or three, two or three solutions. <laughs> but okay, let's see who says what. Again, remember you have a knight. Don't forget you have a knight. <laughs> so try to recollect the pattern I've been telling. Yeah, very good, brilliant. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Very good. So, I'm also uh, thinking along with you guys, it's not that I know the solution already. <laughs> I'm also trying to think. Uh, of course, uh, the way to think is yes. We I think most of you even got it right. It's not a me. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So, our queen, I mean, white's queen and black's king are in the same diagonal with only one piece is actually being interposed <laughs> in the long diagonal it is blocking the thing so when we remove the knight it is called as a discovered check so we have the knight is a tricky square actually uh it has it can jump to so many squares you know one two three four five six. i think seven uh, possible squares of course i think two or three only makes sense at the moment so yes, knight e8 check, double check. Of course, knight is giving check and queen is giving check. So two checks, king is forced to move and we take the uh, queen. <laughs> so one more thing, when you're writing a solution, you should try to find the best move for opponent also. Like knight e8, if king g8, then you will, you will forget the queen. Yeah, We will focus on the king, checkmate, queen g7 mate. So knight e8 check. Uh, black, oh, sorry, black will move the king to the f8 square. 
and now we give uh, so now we take the queen right this uh, if the king was g8 then queen g8 now we don't give because black takes the e8 knight so we take the queen and okay enjoy by being queen up so what is this five pawns and black has three pawns white is two pawns up so the pattern looks familiar yeah i hope uh, you tell the pattern also along with the solution some theme so something which i have been seeing quite a lot today very good it is white to play very good yeah and i can make sure you also write the notation uh, properly very good very good really. Yes, the same thing. Yeah, black king and the black queen are in the same diagonal, which is on dark square, right? And the, both of them are on dark squares, and we have a dark color bishop. If white has, if white would have had light square bishop, let's say it's on light, it's a light square, no? If it's on any of the light square, then it does not make a big difference of a black king and queen in the dark square because white cannot exploit it. Whereas here, they are in dark squares. Now it has dark dark square bishop d two, which again it's a should ring a bell that there has to be something. In that logic, I think we will find it. Yeah. So yes, I think common have found it right. One, two, three. So try to think in the same logic. Focus on uh, this a one h eight diagonal. If you said bishop b four, it is pinning the knight, but it does not promise great advantage as such. But still, white is better though. But there's a win. Uh, there's a move that wins on spot. Try to use the same pattern. Yeah. So, right. <clears throat> it is. Uh, Bishop C three. Yeah. I think I don't. I'm not sure. Uh, sometimes you know. Funnily, I even forget the term. Pin square double diagonal discovered check. I, I sometimes I just forget it. Is it a pin? Yeah, it's a pin. Yeah, because queen is pinned. Because king is the same thing. Yeah, it's a pin, right? So, yeah, pin. Yeah, right. <laughs> it's funny. Right? I just, I just know the most. I don't uh, know the pin skewer sometimes. So yes, Bishop three is a very good move, and we just uh, <coughs> uh, win the queen on. Okay, king moves. Okay, of course you know what to do. Yeah, now we just take uh, queen. And the game so just capture it and okay we are happy <coughs> uh, queen up after that we know how to win I mean you you all are super strong and of course you must be knowing how to convert this portion to a win okay uh, okay I've been talking quite a lot <coughs> okay so do you have do you have any doubts or any questions as such that you can of course ask of course the most which about six so if you, have, if you have any doubts of what we saw today or uh, <clears throat> any doubts in general you can ask
I can just ask right away. Just unmute yourself and ask if you have any questions in general. Any of you playing tournaments anytime soon? Like this week, next week? Are you playing any tournaments? Sooner or later, you're playing tournaments. Yeah? Okay. Um, okay. Sham, Sham Garu, yeah. Uh, Dilip uh -huh. here. Uh, yeah, we are planning to conduct a USCF uh, ranked tournament in the month of October, maybe towards the third week or fourth week of October. I'm uh -huh. hoping many of the participants here uh, will be able to participate and, uh, you know, explore, mm -hmm. you know, experiment and uh, try the things that they have learned through this workshop. Yeah. And right. I hope they yeah. Do yeah. Yeah. So, right. <laughs> so that's the way. Uh, as uh, I also mentioned, uh, it is necessary to play tournaments uh, every now and then <laughs> uh, because whatever we learn, sometimes I feel like it's like mathematics. Uh, like, because Max, no, if you see, it's very easy, but if you do, sometimes it becomes very complex. <laughs> Same way with uh, some of these chests, whatever we learn, whatever we study or go through, it looks, even in my case also, I, I just see a game, like let's say uh, I study some game of Carlson, he makes it look very easy. Yeah, he, he wins as if his opponent is a child or kid, he just crushes them easily. But if I get the same portion, I struggle so much to even convert those kind of portions. So uh, learning and playing has to be balanced in the right way. Uh, if, if there is no proper balance, then the whole uh, structure gets uh, spoiled. <laughs> So make sure to balance the right way, learn, uh, play tournaments, and again, analyze the games. Just see what went wrong, and again, uh, play, learn. That's the way it has to be. Uh, it's a time-taking process, but it's a structured and proper way to do so. And uh, uh, before any tournament, generally I do uh, solve tactics, all these kind of things, puzzle rush. I guess you all must be aware of it. In chess.com or leeches, there are some futures chess24.com. So try to solve as much as possible and uh, try to also study some classics. That is something I, I, I advocate a lot in general. Uh, and regarding tournaments, <laughs> I don't know much about the tournaments happening in the US because I'm actually I'm from India. Uh, I don't know much about those things. <laughs> but uh, any tournament uh, you play should be fine. Just keep playing more and more. And make sure you analyze those games, what went wrong, and make sure you don't repeat the same mistake. It's the most important factor. Winning, losing is secondary, but uh, not repeating the mistake again and again is the most uh, important factor. So this is the thing I wanted to emphasize. And uh, <laughs> yeah, any other questions from anyone? So I guess uh, that's it. Yeah. Okay then. So we'll probably see. I think tomorrow. Same. Yeah. Right? Yes. Uh, yeah. Thank you, Sham Garu. And uh, yeah. And and uh, kids, you know, uh, please let your parents know that I have sent emails uh, with regards to the recordings. Okay. Uh, for the last weeks. Um, thank you. And Sham Garu, you'll be calling into the um, the beginners uh, Zoom. Yeah. Right? Other link. Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. 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 okay thank you okay. yeah thanks thanks everyone thank you all thank you bye bye